the first stop when we get to Charleston is we are stopping and getting a sweet tea immediately. Hi, I'm Madeline Klein, and I'm going to personally show you around Charleston. Let's go. What makes Charleston a special place for me, for starters, I am from there, so it is home. I'm from about 30 minutes outside of it. My family is still there. So when we go shoot Outer Banks, true shoot in Charleston, I get to see my family. So there's a lot of really special memories wrapped up in, in that city. If I were gonna take you for coffee in Charleston, I would first take you to the Daily. That is my absolute favorite spot in Charleston to get coffee. I know everybody there. They're always so friendly. They make their almond milk in-house and they do an incredible avocado toast. The food is amazing. These are Benny wafers. And they're made with, I think it's like a lot of, I'm not sure how to make them, but I know they're special because they have sesame seeds in them. And they're kind of salty, super crispy. They're like the Charleston cookie. Also not pictured, get you some okra candy. That's like final boss of Charleston sweets. And then there's also, these are pralines. I don't know why they're special, other than they just taste great. They're like, <laughs> I feel my blood sugar spiking. You can find these things literally everywhere. They are signatures of Charleston. Well, you always have to do your lemon. This is not gonna be graceful. Sorry. Laughs maniacally. Give it a good stir. Sweet tea is not sweet tea if there's not a little lemon in it. Delicious. You can get this Anywhere. It's not just a Charleston staple, it's a Southern staple. I also love that y'all put it in a mason jar. That's so cute. And then we also, when you order half and half, it's like half sweet, half unsweet. I remember the first time I ordered half and half, I think I was in New York and they came with like a half and half, like what you put in your coffee, like dairy product. I understood why they looked at me so strange because they, I was asking for just straight half and half. It just tastes like home. I have been known to be late for work because I was stuck in traffic in the drive-thru to get a sweetie. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> no one's taking this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody has their own opinions. Oysters, that's like, that's a very personal experience. However, if I'm taking you to get the best oysters, I'm taking you to Leon's Oysters and Poultry. Basically, it's fried chicken and oysters, which I don't think you can get more Southern than that. They have the best oysters, the best fried chicken, and the best orange wine, which for me is a successful dinner. It's salt, starch, butter, and sweet tea. Those are the four pillars of a Southern diet. I don't really go out in Charleston too much, but if I'm really feeling like ripping, I would probably take you to El Jefe because there's a mechanical bull. Shots in a mechanical bull is just like a recipe for a great night. And then at that point, anywhere sounds fun. Enough tequila, we could go anywhere. We could go to Trio. We could go to Republic. We could go skinny dipping. We could go to Folly Beach and skinny dip. I think that's illegal though. My friends and I, when I was in high school, we used to have this little place at the very, very end of Folly Beach. There's this little clearing in the, the grass and we would set up a little fire and then we would go and shoot Roman candles at each other. That's my kind of night. If you're gonna go shopping in Charleston, you know what's really fun is they shut down King Street and so you can walk in the middle of the road and there's everybody's out with their dogs and there's vendors. And one of my favorite vendors, Red Rose Vintage, she has like a little truck and she has vintage that comes through all the time and she has some really cool pieces and I love that it's in like a little van. I've <laughs> given her a lot of my money. There's a really great shop called Worthwhile that has very curated, cool, like candles, clothes made by like small designers, local designers, really, really cool place. That's one of my favorite places in Charleston. To see the most beautiful sunset, I would take you to Shem Creek, which is in Mount Pleasant. There are restaurants literally on Shem Creek and you can sit and watch the sunset and have a beer or get bottomless crab legs or eat oysters up to you. Beautiful, usually because the fishing boats are coming in, there's dolphins, so you can see dolphins in the creek. It's very, very postcard-like. 
a little bit less touristy. The old village in Mount Pleasant is really picturesque and beautiful. We shoot there quite a bit. It's really, really lovely. People are just on their bikes or walking their dogs. Isle of Palms is great. It is touristy, but also, again, they have an amazing strip of restaurants. They've got a, a really great place called Poe's, which is like sandwiches. Mex one, which is tacos. I can't remember the place, but they have a frozen rosé, a frosé. You can just go to the beach, get your frosé, and just sit there and let your mind go to mush. I did grow up going to some theaters in the area. I used to go see the ballet a lot with my mom. There's a, a very small theater and the company is called the Flower Town Players. That was where I did my very first play that wasn't a school play. There's another theater downtown called Theater 99, and that's like Charleston's improv troupe theater. That's definitely a like, very locals activity and hilarious. And that was kind of where I, I got that spark for theater again. It was just so much fun and very freeing. It's a great little place to go. Get tickets online in advance. It's a lot quick. Charleston is tiny. It is an extremely small world, but also the people are incredibly warm and friendly and that's always really lovely to come back to. I love getting on a plane to go back home and hearing the pilot come over the speaker and be like, hey y'all, <laughs> with a southern accent and greet everyone. Sparks joy. Just talking about Charleston gets me really excited and I hope you guys want to go check it out for yourself. Is there vodka in that?